This tunnel can reproduce the velocity and altitude conditions affecting a fighter aircraft. It can even reach 14 times the speed of sound. Here in Belgium we can investigate what a spacecraft undergoes on Earth and even in space. Il y a un piston qui comprime l'écoulement dans les conditions. A piston compresses the flow. For Mars conditions, we use CO2. To simulate the return to Earth, it is air. The special thing about this wind tunnel is that it works for a very short time. We are talking about a fraction of a second. And during this period, we can actually take measurements of pressure, flow, forces, and moments on models. At the von Kármán Institute in Brussels, researchers study certain scientific phenomena and their aeronautics and aerospace applications. For example, they may consider the resistance of an aircraft wing to velocity and heat. They put forward solutions to problems. Their results are used by firms which can then improve their technologies. We serve the two areas, both the civil and military. We call this dual. So we study physical models that are applicable both for the military and civil sides. High-speed aircraft, air intakes, but also transport, re-entry, space applications. The transport, the rentry, the spatial. So the von Kármán Institute is a concentration of grey cells working full out. It has existed for 55 years and is partly financed by the NATO nations. The researchers base their work on results developed by computer, but above all, they use 50 advanced installations to validate the tests. An indispensable stage, making it possible, for example, to send a rocket into space in full confidence. This particular equipment is the plasmatron. It is the only one of its kind and can generate heat to reach 10,000 degrees Celsius. We call this an installation, an installation plasma, which allows to simulate the conditions... This is a plasma installation which simulates conditions on re-entry the conditions at very high speed approaching a planet when you enter the planet's atmosphere. You re-enter the atmosphere at about 100 km altitude. You start to dive into the atmosphere and then you are slowed down as the layers get denser. And as you slow, things heat up. There's a shock wave in front and after the shock wave, the air gets very hot. And to understand how a material reacts to such heat, the researchers place it inside the installation. A little further on, young scientists are studying the effects of the laser on the flows. For each year, the institute hosts students from NATO countries who come to receive training and do research. Sergio, for example, is Italian. He is 30 and pursuing his turbine engineering thesis at the institute. Like more than 50 other students, he is following courses given by the establishment. This working environment is good for his professional development. I believe that working in this place is really uh, rewarding because uh, you have the opportunity to perform uh, the research at high level. At the same time, you have the opportunity to uh, work with uh, young researchers, but also uh, expert professors who can lead your research um, I feel I have the, the possibility to propose my new ideas and to um, experiment what I feel can be an, an improvement to my research. Um, you have the opportunity to access uh, high quality uh, teaching um, while at the same time working in an international environment. So the aim is to cooperate, to share ideas and knowledge and advance research in the field of fluid dynamics. This covers all phenomena bound up with the forces of wind and water, which can act on components. Research which represents a real investment for the future. This is a NATO Channel report.